note the best way to record your video is horizontally it is better for you to record horizontally then you can always uh hello everyone welcome back to my youtube channel this is noble Omani. to my faithful subscribers welcome back if this is your first time try and click on the subscribe button below and also click on the notification bell to get notified when i post a new video today i will be talking about my top three video editing apps for iphone users that you can use on your phone and this is recommended for beginners so it's mainly meant for beginners if you're just starting to learn how to edit videos on your phone this video is actually for you you'll be able to know the best app to use for me this is actually my own personal review because i have tried these three apps and they've worked for me we have a lot of video editing apps that you can use for your phone some you might have to pay for it you might have to pay like a monthly do like a monthly package for them and some you might have to just pay a one-off payment I'll list 10 of them and I'll pick my top 3 from the list. So we have Luma Fusion, Power Director, VLLO, we have Wii Video, Viva Video, Premiere Rush, we have InShot, iMovie, we have KineMaster, Enlight Video, Filmora Go. Before I go to my top 3 free video editing apps for iPhone users, I will mention a particular app that I noticed that a lot of people recommend and I think you can check it out as well which is Luma Fusion. That is for professionals. When it comes to pro level editing, you can check Luma Fusion. However, Luma Fusion is not free. I think it's about 10,000 naira and that's about like 19 or 20 dollars. You can try it if you are interested. Why am I picking this top 3 apps for beginners? I'm picking them because they are like the apps that are free one out of them is free and the others you have to pay but they are still the ones that you can try and do some things without payment at all and still get like, a very good quality out of it so um i'm ranking them from third to first so third being the lowest and first being the best the app i'm actually picking as number three that is good for you to use on your phone is premiere rush why am i picking premiere rush one is because Premiere Rush is like the younger brother of Adobe Premiere Pro. It is very easy to use. For beginners, you will actually find it very easy to use without any stress at all. And also, it has advanced features as well, which is very good. It's also like, you can also get like a professional video editing from the app itself. Also, I love it because it has audio docking and you can enhance um, the volume either to the pitch of a male or a female and it is also easy to shift if I'm recording from like another let me say I'm taking like the audio of my video from somewhere else it is easy for me to match the audio separately to the video to the other video or even if I'm trying to match a particular song it is very easy to do like without any stress at all another reason why I like it is because even if you record your videos, let's say vertically for instance, the best way to record a video is horizontally. So if you record your video vertically, there's a way for you to zoom in and zoom out without disrupting the quality of the video. You still get the best quality even from the video. So it is really good. Like it is an app that I will recommend for you to check out. However, there are some disadvantages to this Premiere Rush. And the first disadvantage is the fact that it actually crashes a lot. That is the first thing. That, was, that, that is actually why I'm actually putting it as number three. If not, it is actually the best app out of this top three I'm actually mentioning. The whole time I, I was actually editing on Premiere Rush and I edited a video. The video took me about four hours to edit. So it was actually a very long video. And I finished the video. It was time for me to export and the video was just crashing. That was the time the first time it crashed. Second time it did the same thing. I had to start editing again, hoping it wouldn't repeat itself. It still did the same thing over and over again. So the thing just, uh, I, I became fed up with the app. So that is why I'm actually putting that number um, three. If they can solve this crashing issues, because I checked on their website as well. I realized that a lot of people actually experience the same thing with this app. If not, Premiere Rush is actually the best. 
another disadvantage about Premier Rush is that you cannot play it back or reverse a clip backward. Also, know that for Premier Rush, there is a free version which allows you to export three times, and after that, you have to be paying a monthly subscription every month. Apart from that, you can check out the app Premier Rush, it is actually a very good app. For my number two, I'll be picking iMovie. Why am I picking iMovie? One, iMovie is actually free. Once you're an Apple user, you get access to iMovie. You have free access to iMovie, and which is actually a good thing because at least you have an option, you have like an app to use on your phone for free without any stress or hassle. iMovie is easy to use. It is very good for beginners. If you're a beginner and you're still trying to learn how to edit a video, get iMovie. Um, the audio level, you can increase the audio level as you want it. You can do picture in picture. You can do green screen on your phone as well. You can do a lot of things on iMovie as well. Okay, there are some things I don't like about iMovie. One is the picture in picture. It is really hard for you to um, like put some... There are some pictures that if they have like wordings, it is really hard for you to place the picture on the other picture it might crop it out and it will look very absurd another issue is stickers it's really hard to put stickers especially when you're using it on your phone to put stickers on like your own picture and even titles as well you are limited to either the putting at the center or at the bottom level you can't put your title anywhere you want to put it in your video especially for iMovie on your phone Unlike other video editing apps that allows you to put um, title anywhere from to put it here, here, up, down, anywhere you can put it. But for iMovie, it is really difficult to do that. Another disadvantage about iMovie is that, let me give you an instance. If I'm recording the video like from a camera now and I'm trying to take my audio from a voice recorder and I'm trying to match them together it's actually very difficult for you to be shifting the audio because sometimes when you shift it it will jump to the front or it will not just match that is I think that's actually like the other issue I have with it Premiere Rush is I would actually say Premiere Rush is actually better than iMovie but why I'm giving iMovie number two is because it doesn't crash compared to Premiere Rush that it literally crashes every time apart from that iMovie is actually good. If you want to edit your videos safely, use iMovie. You will start your videos from beginning and you will finish in peace without stress. You can check it out. For beginners, try iMovie. The app I will recommend, I will say is the best for me so far. Other people might have other opinions about all these apps. But just for me, because one app, you know, one thing I'm considering is the fact that how free is the app for you to use? That's my first thing. Number two is how user friendly is it for beginners? So that is why I'm picking the top three that I picked. So now for my number one is InShot. I have done a tutorial on InShot. I'm sure you can check any of my other videos. You will see. One of the series I did on InShot. Um, why am I picking InShot? The first thing is the fact that it's actually very good, easy to use. It is the most friendly app for beginners. If you're just starting video editing, try InShot. InShot is actually very easy to use. Also, another thing is the fact that it actually has a lot of features. You can color correct. You can do put a lot of stickers. You can do a lot of things on InShot. And the, most important is the fact that it also helps you with like it helps you correct the format of your video also which is although some features you have to pay for the, you to get them but even for instance if you record your video vertically which is the same thing why i like about premiere rush as well if you record a video vertically note the best way to record your video is horizontally it is better for you to record horizontally then you can always um, do anything you want to do with it but if you record vertically it's really hard because when you're watching it on like a laptop, it will now have like two black, like sp extra spaces by the side, which is not good. So next time you're trying to record a video, record horizontally. Apart from that, apart from the fact that you record your videos horizontally, it is good because if you record vertically, it can help you with like mirrors by the side or try and help with like the format. Most of these things you have to pay for 
them. I think the advantage about InShot is the fact that it is not a professional app. If you are at the pro level or even at the intermediate level, I will not recommend InShot for you. It's just for beginners. For the beginners, this is the best app for you to use. And you can use get advanced features on this when you pay for them, but it's only on like a one video layer, which is on which is bad compared to other video um, editing apps, which you can have on like multiple layers. So apart from that, InShot is actually a very good app for you to use, and I'm picking as the best because for a beginner, InShot is the best app for you to use because. There's even a free version and you can buy it outrightly unlike um, Premiere Rush where you have to make a monthly subscription for it For InShot, there's always like a watermark by the side but you can always remove it either by watching like an ad and even if you pay for some things you can also just take the watermark off Apart from that, InShot is actually good and I'm picking it as the best for beginners Notes, it's not the best app You know I mentioned Lu Luma Fusion now It is not the best app for you to edit on your phone but for beginners InShot is the best app for you to use because it is user friendly and it is easy to use I would like you to comment in the comment section and let me know other apps that you feel are better or they are good also for editing videos on your phone check other apps also that I have listed I am sure you will if you have the money to pay for them you can also pay and you're going to get a very good um, video quality at the end of everything that's all about this video thank you guys for watching so i see you next time bye